Hey folks, Quilithian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Imperial Italy. We are currently in another uh, sort of rebuilding phase. We've just finished, did we core them both? We did, we have cored um, Verona and Genoa over here. They're happily cored and part of us. We don't have tons of manpower, although we will continue to do that. We are well below our force limit. We have a bit of a coalition against us, but we do have a lot of alliances. Um... We are waiting for January 1st. We will go ahead and upgrade our military tech to the uh, next level at the full discount over here. Although, no, I was going to do that last January 1st. I forgot. Um, well, I guess I guess I will just keep on waiting because then we'll actually go from plus 5% to negative 5%. And I guess that's fine. I had planned on doing it this last January 1st when we lost some of our ahead of time penalty. Um, just because, you know, so we'd be well, ahead, well prepared ahead of time for the war, but, uh, well, I guess we'd saved, uh, we saved some extra point, power points, 664 to, well, I guess it'll be about 60 points, won't it? Boom. January 1st. And you're right, this, it would do the right thing if I hit the button, but it doesn't actually refresh the view. There you go, 60 points. So we're going to grab that with one point shy of our cap. Uh, religious civil war in England. They're going to eradicate the heretics. Interesting. Same thing in Bohemia. Of course, the Protestant Reformation has started. There's actually no center of Reformation in England. But they have gone heavily Protestant. Really? But they're going to eradicate the heretics. Oh, no! They, oh, they've flipped over their own uh, government has gone to Protestant. Okay. Um, Sweden has also gone Protestant. We've got, what is this? That Saxony is Protestant. Hesse is Protestant. And there's a bunch of places, like Bohemia has a bunch of Protestants in them, but they've not actually become Protestant. I'm lying. Oh, these are just mostly Catholic. Oh, all right. Um, yes, yeah, so we got our military tech. We need to go ahead and upgrade our Latin Knights to Schwartz Riders and our Kalanins to Culverines. You can also go to P uh, Pedrero, um, which has slightly more morale, but this will have slightly more shock. So we'll kill a few more people this way or at least i'm pretty sure you know the uh there's still a lot about the um uh the combat rules that they're not they're not like opaque in game and you can read all like the formulas and stuff on the wikis and i've glanced at them several times but there's no way that shit stays in my head um so I, you know you set up little rules of thumb and that's basically as good as i can get it i'm gonna get some extra cavalry in here i like to have at least the pair for like you know thematic flanking um, and we did get the extra flanking range as well, so if we do have, like, a much wider, uh, front line, we can do some good cavalry maneuvers. We're gonna send you to Genoa, I believe that will bring us, again, unless some local, um, autonomy burns down, that will bring us to our naval force limit. Our, our true naval force limit should be much higher than that, but of course, you know, we've got 50% less in Genoa because, um, because of its autonomy. Alright, you are taking it up, we're making good money, what's our actual income right now? 12 at 0.5 is pretty good at this stage in the game for the size of our country. Uh, some of that is from war reparations, but not that much, really. We don't have a full-sized army. That is true. And we do have mercs. At this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the mercs. And when you do this, every now and again, someone will, like, instantly join coalitions. Wars will start because you will have a, a drop in military power. But we've rebuilt our troops a little bit from when we needed those mercenaries. So I'm going to keep mostly building up my front line at this point. Um... Why does it say four can maximum fort level we can siege with the army? Oh, that's what that means. I was gonna say, that was a count of our cannons. Yeah, everyone's hating Naples. Good. Hey, listen, Bosnia. Yeah, you're pretty pissy right now, but I'm betting if I put in some investment over time, we might be able to get good buddies. Uh, or we could have until you rivaled Savoy. Now it's really awkward. What? What is? Did you just get formed? Why did you just go and reset like every single one of your rivals? Did you just split off from something? Wow, Naples got a lot of territory over here. I don't know what's going on. Hungary hates me a lot. Rivalry. Wants my provinces. Like, you're way over there. Back off my provinces, buddy. Yeah, Aragon, I think, would be very helpful in a war against Naples. But we do we do have to wait. This aggressive expansion is just a little bit rich. Plus the manpower thing. Uh, yo, we always want mercan mercantilism. Try to build that up as much as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead... There you go. Hey, leaving the coalition. So more people should. I mean, there's no way that Genoa doesn't have like unlimited aggressive expansion against me. Exactly. So if they're starting to think that maybe this coalition thing's not a good idea, more people should leave. Um, unless they had some other reason for leaving, but I don't see why that would be. Let's put up another knight here. So as my military strength continues to bounce back, 
don't know, unless they took a hit in their military strength, maybe they had an event that I don't know about, um, more people should leave the coalition, just because of scariness, even if they have enough aggressive expansion to justify being in there. Mm -hmm. Now, the real scary part might be actually once the truce with Milan expires, because they're definitely going to want to be in a coalition against me, and that will add more fuel to the coalition fire, but I think we're going to be okay. You're still in it over here. Genoa has left, which means, actually... Uh, well, these guys, Montferrat, are in it. So I'm going to keep my my fort up in Genoa. All my other forts are down to save some money, but yeah. I'm not going to fabricate any claims right now, even though it would be handy to have a few in a few different places. Um, push comes to shove. I'm pretty sure we've got a few CBs we can trigger. Tuscany, you don't have any claims on anyone, do you? You do. You have been continuing to fabricate claims. So, on against Naples, would I literally just be declaring war for your claims? I would be. God, that is tempting. Oh, truce. Like, why so much aggressive expansion? Right, we'd be truce breaking. So that is something to be said about not soaking up um, Tuscany, because if they still have these claims that I can keep pressing, that's kind of nice. So maybe. How much more territory do I need to form Italy? Um, now, some of these things... Our part... Okay, I need Rome. I need to actually, like, own Rome at some point. Which is tricksy. Um, okay, I... Oh, is that all I'm missing? I'm just missing Milan and Rome? Okay, good. And, of course, admin tech level 10. I am behind on my admin tech, so I will... You know what? To form... Well, I can't form Italy unless I'm in a position to... Unless I am the, emp the emperor so that I can allow myself back into the HRE. I'm pretty sure those are the mechanics we'd figured out because no matter what, because of the Italian nation decision, it automatically kicks me out of the HRE. But if I'm the emperor, I should be allowed to re-add my capital to the HRE, which will remake me a member, and that will be fun. And that means we have to keep a very close eye on, on this landscape. We're unlikely to get anyone to vote for us because we don't have quite the same culture. Also, Austria continues to be very strong. So the real thing will be to try to... Um, I'm going to have to go north. And that's going to take me you know, maybe another 100 years or so um, to get in that position. But I will at some point have to go north and just start vassalizing um, electors. Truce of the Knights. Naples and Savoy has ended. Well, let's go ahead and get our admin technology over here, which will be good. We're so far ahead of time. I'm going to be quite happy. I'm going to take the quantity ideas because that really adds a lot. I'm going to go ahead and spend this right away. 50% more national manpower. Increases our cap considerably, but that effectively increases our per month a lot. <sighs> they have no allies. We could crush them. That We could crush them. What does that mean? for my aggressive expansion. Oh! Yeah, okay, that's fair. It makes sense that as soon as the truce would expire, they would join the coalition against me. I mean, I, I might have been able to, like, declare war just before that happened or something, but you know what, that's okay. It's a good incentive to, like, keep me a little bit more under control. I mean, come on! I gotta settle down here. Um, yeah, embargoing. That's fine. Oh, I can probably embargo you now, too. We don't have a truce. Oh, I already have it going on there. Tell you what, I will insult you. Where's that? Send insult. Boom. Power projection. Hooray. Um, so it's not much, but it's something. Okay, what's my composition here? Front line. We now have 11,000 in the front line. That's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, one more infantry, but then I'm going to throw in an extra couple of cannons here. Then I probably won't put any more cannons. We'll just fill out with more infantry at that point. Just because once you start taking losses in combat, mostly you lose in infantry, and then your front line weakens, and you expose your cannons. Yada, yada, yada. Um, oh, we need to unmothball Ancona over here. Because if Naples, if the coalition did trigger, Naples could just walk in there and siege it pretty easily. Many truces have worn out. Which again is going to trigger or tweak some of these uh, coalition situations a little bit. Luckily, right now, my allies are all at peace, which is good. All left. Interesting. Why don't they leave? Other people are joining in. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just throw in. Get our diplomats working again. Just to say. Um, ah, there we go. I definitely want this. This will burn away. Let's, let's take a quick look. If I take a look at Naples right now. The aggressive expansion is burning away at a rate of 2.3 per year. But if I take this, now, 
Aggressive expansion. Oops, might have to let it tick. Should burn away faster. Let's check it in January. Well, then a lot of the numbers will change because the lower thing will be... Yeah, it should be that. Improve relations. It's not just the improve relations action. That should be all actions, not just the actual one. Unless that one is different. Because if you get the advisor, then it should tick it all down faster. I don't know. Anyway, I guess that's fine. Tuscany, how you doing? Uh, we can get an extra 12. Almost there. I suppose we could just throw some money at you. Yay! I do like this uh, this justification thing, except it's not helping us right now. It keeps wearing off right before we actually negotiate a piece. I'm happy we're sitting on a bunch of money. Do I want to build some buildings? I have enough to like buy lots of mercs right now, so I think the answer is yes. And I think... This whole last war I was talking about taking Venice, like two episodes ago. I keep forgetting I own Venice. God, I'm such an idiot. And by idiot, I mean these colors are too goddamn similar. <laughs> And I'd gone three days between game sessions. All right. Uh, I think I do that every war, and I think I'm going to do that every war until I've exterminated Milan completely. So, army size. Yes, I think this would be an excellent purchase. We're going to put that there. Um, and here. So I guess the, um, the autonomy in those places is low enough that we're getting good bang for a buck. It's going to be a great addition to these two provinces here once the autonomy drops. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and build them here too. Yeah, that means I'm not building other buildings, but honestly... More barracks, always pretty strong. When am I going to remember that I own Venice? God. Look at this shit. 30 base development. Still has 40% autonomy. Um, Right, separatists. 11.2 years, 15.7 years. Great. We've got like, very little unrest. War exhaustion is wearing off. We've got this minus 2 guy, which helps a lot. Inflation is not a problem. Country is stable. Just waiting for more manpower. Manpower is going to come pretty fast now. And in fact, it's going to come in really fast once we get the young conserve as well. Reset uprising. uprising. Oh, there's still no unrest, even with that gone away, which is good. In fact, I'm starting to get tempted to drop the autonomy in some of these places. Um, what kind of rebels would you get? Lucan separatists, which aren't even on the list. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to decrease autonomy and accept a little bit of unrest for a while. Bosnia, how are you feeling? He's still still mad now. We might get some stuff later on. Ottomans. You know, just to say, let's go ahead and put in some relationships over there. Just just to see what might happen. Ottomans are about sort of normal-ish Ottoman size. They have gra grabbed some more territory, certainly. They're not blobbing out yet. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to take the admin power. I don't need a cardinal that badly. Actually, there's going to be less, fewer and fewer um, Catholic nations coming up. And I'm getting bigger and bigger, so we should get a few more of those as we go forward. So yeah, I need to bring my admin tech up. Again, we, <sighs> rushing to tend to form Italy is nice, in a sense. Um, except that we were probably going to wait. Hey, Austria loves us because we're Catholic. Lovely. Um, that is really tempting. Okay, we are right, France, England, Austria, yeah. So that's no good. I'm going to I'm going to keep this high up again as a backup plan. Maybe maybe Burgundy can be involved somewhere along the way. We'll see how it goes. Lithuania is independent, which is annoying since I am actually allied to Poland. But we'll do that. Oh. Oh, we don't want anything to become Protestant. We actually want less reform desire and we want more positive opinion. Heresy, burn the priest in his books. Um one thing we can really do is vassalize Rome, which I think you can do very safely, and that puts us in a position to very easily diplo-annex them later on. Um, actually, if they didn't hate me... No, you can't um, you can't vassalize Rome because they have a special modifier because they're the Pope. So, that you can't do it. I will have to go to war. I will have to war vassalize them. But then, any time in the future, I can just annex them because I need to own Rome to become Italy. And if you are Italy, then you don't get the massive weird penalties and events for owning Rome. Um, okay, Black Day for the Church. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. You're being a bit of a drama queen. Um, we do have five active cardinals, as is, which isn't bad. We could invest a little bit to, um, you know, to become the papal controller. I don't know if there's any point in us doing that, though. Okay, Austria has rivaled Milan. How convenient! When does our truce end? Because I think that'll be the next action, is a giant war against Milan. You do have the Austrian one as well, which is good. Okay. Because I don't want Austria coming in here and taking their stuff. God, I keep forgetting I own Venice. Mm. 
The colors are damn similar. I mean, come on. Give me that. We lost the general. We can get a new leader. Um, I th think I'll just hold off for now. Wow. Our ruler is terrible. Our heir is acceptable, but even then, not too great. Um, we don't want him to die early. Actually, having our ruler die early would be nice. Army tradition, not that high. I'm not going to invest now. I'll wait until there's war declared. Recall, we've got all our extra barracks. Force limit. Uh, we need the month to tick, I think, before the number updates. Maybe it's already done it, but I don't think so. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll just put my king here. Maybe he'll die in, like, practice drills. That would be nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'd lose the stability, which is less than ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Painting Vassal. Yeah, it would be nice to soak Tuscany. Let me go ahead and improve relations some more, because we can get an extra 15. Oh, that would be sufficient. Excellent. That would be just enough to put us over the 190, and then we'll just go ahead and start the Diplo Vassalizing. We are behind on Diplotech, which sort of sucks. Plus, we still have Diplo ideas. And we're going to spend a bunch of Diplo points uh, annexing them. I think it takes, like, what, like 480 or something crazy? Yay, leave the coalition. Um, 512. It's not cheap. But it's cheaper than annexing everything um, and coring everything. Although, they do start off with, what, like 75% autonomy if you annex a vassal, which definitely kind of sucks. So some of these places leaving the coalitions, probably because they're further away, they didn't have that many points. I don't know. Cardinal Minister. Oh, um, no, I'll take the Prestige. I much prefer that. We're up to 41, which ain't bad. It does decay really, really, really fast. Um, it also gives you a lot better relations over time, which helps burn off some of those penalties faster, which is nice. Or that. Even though we have less aggressive expansion now, so the rate should be lower, it's gone from 2.3 to 2.4 because of some of these things. So, having that high prestige will help us burn off that AE. Also, does it not give us better, like... Well, it gives us less uh, aggressive expansion impact as well. So, you get less in the first place, and it burns off faster because of improved relations, which is nice. All right, we'll recall that. Um, you know what? I'm going to go and spend some effort on Hungary because things might change. I'm going to go ahead and just cap it off. Because you never know. If certain things change, some rivalries change, something down the road changes, maybe we'll be happy we'll have some of that investment. It probably doesn't make a difference, but, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll let that cap out complete with Tuscany and then send that same diplomat back. Suffering Bereaved is going away. Counts Feud. Support the new monarch. What's going on, Denmark? Are you going to have... You have a lot of pretender rebels. Very interesting. Do you still lead a personal union? No. So, Sweden is independent. Norway is independent. No legal heir. Hmm. One thing I could take a look at is more of these disputed secessions. Fallen countries lack heirs of decent claim. Austria. We have a royal marriage with Austria. We don't have enough prestige to out-prestige Austria. But that is a screen we can keep an eye on and aim for marriages. I don't have, like, a positive prestige dude I can kick around, do I? Yes, I do. Do I need the unrest guy? No, we're, we're really solid right now. Let me do that. Mostly, it's going to be meaning so that my prestige decays more slowly. Because it decays really fast. Which is really annoying. Um, what else we got here? Recall. Recall. Ah, oh, Tuscany. I have to wait for a diplomat. Yeah, we're going to start annexing you. Which will give me some more prestige. So right now we're going to spend how many? Seven per month, which I think is how much I make. So we're going to be exactly neutral there. And how long is it going to take? Probably some time. Six years right now, less if I lose some of my diplomatic reputation, for example. For example, if I replace this guy, which I may want to at some point. I mean, they won't cost me any more or less. It'll just take longer. Um, yeah, I think we're mostly just going to sit and wait for this to finish. There's an advantage to having vassals in that your effective force limit is quite a lot higher. The the, the duck wars. Duck, I say. Dake, Dake, Schmollen, yada, yada, yada. All right. Here are the common folk. Okay, you have fun, Sweden. All right. Things are not well in um, in Scandinavia, apparently. Things are very unstable-like. So, yeah, by having the vassals, your effective force limit is higher because your force limit is based on what your territory you have. Plus, do they still give you a contribution for a vassal? I think so. Plus, the vassals have their own troop. Also, they have their own... Um, 
uh, leader pool, which means you have potentially better luck at having just better leaders for your, or generals, I should say, for your armies, for example. But I think it'll be nice to just pull them in. It'll free up a relationship slot and we can start doing some other silly things. France, how you doing? How old is your king? 38. So, I mean, we won't get it here, because when he dies, we'll just get Louis. Mm -hmm. He's still got an heir there, too. Alrighty. Um, Tolerant Society in Oldenburg. Alright. And we're not going to do anything like that. I think we're going to stay hardcore Catholic this game. And yeah, we're going to keep... Oh, speed four. Just keep ticking it around. We do have a free diplomat that I can just throw at someone. Um, Clone. Sup, dude? You would even ally me, potentially. Why is it grayed out? Oh, we hate them. Why do we hate them? They have a lot of unlawful territory. Wow. It would be nice if they improved relations with me. I guess I improved relations with them, but it's not going anywhere. Um, let's just... There. Lewenberg. You're a Protestant. But, you know, we'll do it anyway. Lose the stability, gain inflation. Um, I think I'm going to take the inflation and pay it down. I'm going to do that. Even though, you know, still would like some admin tech. I don't think I'm ever going to build courthouses. You'd have you'd have to know that a country or a province is going to be bad news forever to justify a courthouse. More prestige. Uh, Austria, how's your um how's your prestige? Only forty, so I actually have more. Varel marriage with Poland as well. So what's the deal here? Oh, because you're gonna have a weak heir. Pretender rises. So yeah, so. And you have a weak heir as well. So we'll race to the throne. But in theory, I could claim the throne at this point, right? If I had a diplomat? But we do not have the same ruling dynasty as they do. No. So there's just a chance that because of rebellion, my heir might get there. Oh yeah, elective monarchy. That's right, Poland. There's a thing I can do. I could support my dude, right? Maybe I should do that. Um, Yeah, let's not suck up to Lewenberg. How do I support my heir? Because it's an elective monarchy. If the heir becomes the ruler, we will get two years worth of power from that ruler, as well as prestige. Is actually my dude, like, decent? Oh, I don't know what his stats are, do I? 22... Oh, 3, 2, 1. So not great. But I'm still going to start working it. So I have a 22% chance, what, every month to get some progress towards there. Yeah, let's, let's keep working on that. It's fun things. Elective monarchy. It's a little weird. Siena is now the seat of a cardinal. We have six active cardinals. Here, let's spend some more. Papal controller. It's got to be worth something. We'll really control the Pope soon when we decide to um, vassalize them. We do not have a truce. They are in the coalition, though, which is not ideal. We don't even have a CB against them. Uh, I want to take the, the young conserve. There we go. Those are the two really key ideas. Oh, and we got the 20% cheaper mercs as well. So we've got 50% more national land power, which also changes the rate at which I gain them. Look at this, 42,000 now. That's a sharp... At the start of the episode, weren't we like 28,000? Maybe that was last episode. And 20% faster manpower recovery speed. So we'll get people a lot faster. And now we can basically war as much as we want, short of hitting the aggressive expansion limit which is decent. Let me go ahead and recall the one in Hungary. And even though, if I've caught, this will give me a little bit of aggressive expansion, I want to make sure that I've got... Oh! Coalitions. I want to make sure that I do actually have a claim on the Pope. So that if I want to, I can trigger that. Now, how much AA do they have? So they won't leave the coalition for some time, probably. They're grateful for something. Oh, that's because the Catholic stuff. Instantly discovered. Great. Okay, well, we we'll get that aggressive expansion. Awesome. Um, we do currently have a claim on Parma. Now, that will probably expire when the truce ends. 38? It was December? Oh, no. So, we're going to have a CB. We really we need Milan to form Italy. But, as long as we have some sort of CB on, uh, on the country of Milan, I'm going to be happy. It'll give us a chance to take Venice. Ha ha. Um, truce with Sweden has ended. Okay. And Denmark. And Norway. I apparently had truces with these guys. Sure. I think they were attacking the north and Austria called me in because of things. And I was like, sure. Sounds fun, guys. Let's do that. 
Money is very good. We could potentially look into building some more buildings. Um... Maybe trade buildings? Actually, just docks might not be a bad idea, although we don't have a slot for that. Do we have slots for marketplaces? We do. Oh, in particular, let's go and build them here. And here. Um, and here. Yeah, trade is going to be a big money maker, And there's always going to be some competition in these trade nodes, even if I take more of the land. So having more trade power just passively here is going to be really good. How much do we have now that we don't, we're not overextended? 14% of Genoa which is making us 4.23, 55% of Venice, which is making us 6.68. Actually went down a little bit, but once we finish that, that'll help. Black news! Ah, oh, our king died. Yes, let's remarry Savoy. We've actually got a better heir. Um, our next, or sorry, a better king than our last one, although our new heir is not great. He is 48, though, so that's not so bad. Prestige is decent. Stability went down a bit. Um, let's go and re-royal Mary. Anyone that where we started things. Oh. Right, supporting our heir. Okay, they're going to make some offers. Let's go ahead and do that. And then whoever doesn't, we'll go and just wait until we've got a free diplomat kicking around. Then we'll be okay. All right. Well, I guess this is going to be a good place to put in a cut. We've got a new king, a new ruler. It's a new day. Um, we still have a massive coalition against us. Um... Which, if they triggered, we would win, because we have good, strong allies, which is why they're not triggering. But it is going to stop me from making any aggressive moves right now. Um, Milan's not in the coalition. Maybe I can time a declaration of war before they um, join the coalition. That would be handy. I think that works. It would be nice if Aragon wasn't on their side, but we'll do what we can. Um, or we can literally just sit on our hands a little bit longer until the coalition breaks completely. With our increased manpower rate, we will hit our manpower cap at some point, and then I'll really start to be itchy to do something. I suppose, um, I was going to say, I'm not at my force limit, but I am at some point going to soak in Tuscany. Four more years. They've got seven. You know what? Let's go ahead and build a couple more troops anyway. We might be slightly over force limit once we soak in Tuscany, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.